Brendan Rodgers repeatedly warns his players against complacency and, to that end, the Celtic manager has put his team through penalty practice ahead of Sunday's William Hill Scottish Cup semi-final showdown. With Rangers. Although yet to taste defeat in nine matches against the team from Ibrox, Rodgers insists he is prepared for every eventuality at hand and on Sunday afternoon. Celtic lost the 2016 semi-final to Rangers on penalty kicks under his predecessor Ronnie Dale and Rodgers wants his players to feel comfortable stepping forward if they are subjected to another shootout on Sunday. It's been a good week and we've covered for everything. He said, We have looked at the last game and areas we can be better in. We've prepared the players mentally and then we polished them up before kickoff. Penalties are something you can discount, even though it's hard to recreate that situation. You can practice for it, walking up, putting it down, and looking in the goal. Your heart won't be beating the same, but you can still have the sensation of the penalty. The ex Liverpool boss admits he has had to adjust not only to the intensity of the old firm fixture but also to its frequency. The teams met at the semi final stage of each cup tournament last term, taking the total of derbies to six for the season. By the time the current campaign ends, there will have been five this term. There may be a clear gulf in quality between the squads, but Rodgers knows the law of averages means a result will go Rangers' way at some stage. Coming up here, I was used to playing a rival twice a season, at most three, he said. We played Rangers six times last season. Aberdeen, 2. It's all statistics, isn't it? It's hard to win them all but we have shown we can win in different ways. Despite the familiarity with these occasions, Rodgers still derives a unique excitement on the morning of the game. He added, there is a buzz. I've experienced it nine times now but I have always tried to stay calm within it all. From the manager's perspective, there is a different focus. I remember my first Celtic v Rangers game. Just the sense of being in the middle of it and being able to affect it. It is a fantastic fixture. Rogers' composure temporarily disappeared at the moment on Sun Edward put his 10 man team 3 2 in front in last month's game at Ibrox. Although he had injured a calf celebrating a Scott Sinclair winner at the same stadium last season, he found himself lost in the moment and on the move. I tend to find myself wanting to run against Rangers. He laughed. That's probably just the supporter in me. Last season I pulled my calf. Rodgers has several selection issues ahead of Sunday's match. Captain Scott Brown is a certain starter but the manager could reasonably make a case for a different player to fill each of the remaining 10 places in his team. While the return from injury of Patrick Roberts, Tom Rogic and Lee Griffiths has left him blessed with options in the attacking areas, question marks still hang over his defense. Goalkeeper Scott Bain has done well since coming in on loan and was a standout at Ibrox but it would be a surprise if Craig Gordon was not selected on Sunday. Jack Hendry impressed as a substitute following Jozo Simonovic's ordering off in the last derby but he is ineligible after appearing in Dundee's Cup win at Inverness the night before his transfer to Parkhead. Mikel Lustig missed the game at Ibrox and should return on Sunday. The Swede will either slot in at right back or on the right of a back three as Rogers toys with the best formation to help help open up the game at hand and we made mistakes in the last game admitted Rodgers but domestically I think we have been strong defensively this season. The availability of players will help us Rangers are more of a counter attack direct team you have to deal with the long ball too Alfredo Morelos and pay attention to the runners off that dot but the space is there for us to play at Hamden in my time we have gone there with a really positive mentality to own the pitch and play our game. For wingers and fullbacks, there is room to play, but only if you open up the pitch. 